Hello my Peregrini friends! We are about to start our second part of our day after the lunch break. And uh, upon the closure of our morning transmission, we asked some questions to Ari, our new mechanic from Italy, of which we, we, we actually recorded and now we want to share with you. But first, let's remember the questions and uh, they are. Ari, tell us a little bit about your experience back in Italy. What did you do back in Civetta? What were the things that you worked at uh, at the shop near Castelletto? I had the opportunity to work near the Civetta car shop in Castelletto, where I tuned the various supercars and good in Civettas. My experience with these machines allowed me to enhance their performance significantly. I even received generous compensation from Civetta for my expertise. As my compensation later decreased, it motivated me to seek new challenges and opportunities beyond Italy, leading me to a fresh start here. Thank you so much for the work that you are doing for us, Ari. Uh, I hope that our cameraman didn't bother you much when he went there to film you working in the workshop so far. And I would like to take the opportunity to tell you that I want to bring you back by the beginning of the next race because I got an idea and I'm gonna ask you only when we finish this race, which is now we need to introduce the drivers. In the first position, we have Salomon Puma with the risk between 81 and 85 percent, and he will receive no risk bonus for, for starting the first position today. His vision is between 77.4 and 81.4 percent throughout the race. And a, a little bit about Salomon Puma, who is currently in the second position with 24 points. Right below Chiao Li, who raced in the morning and at the same time in the same position as Teruya Muniak, who also raced in the morning. The only thing that may create an issue to Solomon is if he doesn't finish the race, but qualifying first and with a good track from past races, including a win in the big ring, I don't think this is a possibility. Our next driver is Daisy O'Brien in the second position with the risk between 71 and 78%, receiving a bonus of 1% in each checkpoint. Her vision is between 75 and 82% throughout the race. Daisy is currently in the ninth position with 18 points right behind Piotr Frolov who will start in the third, third position this race. In the past race at Big Ring, they started in first, but lost control in the, in the very first lap and finished in fifth, winning only against those who didn't finish the race. And Daisy's best performance so far has been in the first race at the automation track where she finished in the second position after starting the sixth. Let's see how she's gonna perform today. Now we have Piotr Frolov in the third position with the risk between 70 and 75% receiving a bonus of 2%. His vision is between 74.3 and 79.3%. Piotr is currently in the 8th position with 20 points just by finishing this race. Petya will pass his compatriot Volvo, who didn't finish this, his race in the morning, but Petya is also under pressure from Daisy, who is in the 9th position and starts today in the 2nd right in front of him. In both previous races, Petya had a great performance finishing third at the automation track and second at the big ring. I'm expecting that he will perform well today. In the first position, we have Tomas Abarquero from Peru with the risk between 64 and 74 percent, receiving a bonus of 3 percent. Tomas's vision is between 72.8 and 82.8 percent. Thomas is currently in the 14th position with 9 points and, in today's grid, he is the worst position. Leroy, Gus and Ayo, who are better positioned in the championship, are starting behind Thomas. So this gives Thomas a great chance to improve his chances of passing them in the season. Besides not having finished his first race, Thomas also had a good race at Big Ring and that is why he has a great chance to go to the top of the mid seven if he finishes well. We just mentioned Leroy, who's starting at the 5th position today. Leroy is driving today with the risk between 58 and 65%, receiving a bonus of 6% throughout the race. His vision will be between 73.5 and 80.5%. <clears throat> Leroy is currently in the 10th position with 17 points, 
just behind Daisy who's starting the second. This seems to be a very important race for the mid-7 as they all are in the same group, of the same day, the same race, that's very exciting. If Leroy finishes in the same position as he starts in the 5th, he will manage to pass Volva and tie with Shane Graham at 23 points, who, who race in the morning. But, of course, we are assuming that he will finish in the 5th place, we don't know yet. I hope Leroy performed better than this assumption of, this, this assumption of mine. And in the 6th position we have another Brazilian, Gustavo Alencar, with a risk between 56 and 65% receiving a bonus of, oh sorry, 66% receiving a bonus of 9%. His vision will be between 71.1 and 81.1% in this race. Gustavo is also part of the mid-7 currently at the 12th position with 15 points, because he's 2 points behind Leroy and Gus said he will do his best to win against Leroy. Gus mentioned that Ayo isn't much of a threat to him as he has 5 points of advantage in the table. And the last, the 7th position is Ayo Tunde Pamiliku Ayo. Ayo is coming back after the worst accident we've seen in the season. He just he jumped right into the ocean back at the big ring and we are glad that today he is able to race actually. Ayo is racing with the risk between 52 and 62% receiving a bonus of 12%. His vision is between 71 and 81. In, despite not finishing the last race, Ayo finds himself in the 13th position with 10 points. This is his chance to keep at the mid-7 having to climb up to Thomas today to prevent losing the position at the table. So let's start the race now. We have Salomon Pum in first, Daisy in second, Piotr in third, Tomas in fourth, Leroy in fifth, Gustavo in sixth, and Ayotun passed him who was in seventh, and now he took the position from Gustavo who is fighting with him. I saw that Daisy tried a little bit a little bit to take Salomon Salomon's position, but Salomon's managed to protect it very well. Now I, we can see the battle between Gustavo and Ayotunda. Ayotunda is making the maximum that he can, and yes, he managed to take the position. And oh, did I see that Piotr took the position from from Daisy O'Brien? We need some replay. We need some replay. No, no one's again with the replay now. Okay, so we can see the oh the replay is coming here. <laughs> oh, the team is very slow. Look at Piotr passing by Daisy O'Brien. Daisy O'Brien lost the momentum trying to pass Salomon, and Piotr took the position to conquer the second in the race. Very good strategy from Piotr to just take on the weakness of Daisy for that single moment. Very good strategy. On that note, I would like to say that uh, Piotr Frolov and Ayotunde Pamilik Nayo are the best drivers for this lap, only because they were the only ones who actually changed position so far. Let's continue. So let's have now a tour at Ari's current workshop that was set up especially for the races that we are making today. And uh, our cameraman was just uh, walking by because well, we don't have any journalists <laughs> to do anything there. So we have here this place empty, the entrance. Uh, we can see now, I can see that uh, Poliana and Reynaldo's car, they are waiting to be attended. Oh, I can see they're uh, already working on all, so let's not... I hope that the camera didn't uh, intervene there. And uh, Elisha is already waiting to be serviced. So yeah, that's that's a very improvised way to set up a garage for our cars. And the good thing is that, uh, as we can see already, and after all of the crashes, all of the places, all the parts actually have already been replaced. So the cars are looking beautiful externally. They just need to do some upgrades inside, like uh, Ari said earlier. So yeah, I guess that's the the tour in the garage, the improvised garage. I hope you guys liked it, so let's now get back to the race. Now we are back and we've seen that the, the drivers have just completed the second lap, with Salomon still in the first position, followed by Piotr and Daisy. Nothing has changed, 
in the fourth position we have Tomasa Barqueiro, followed by Leroy Borcara, Ayutun Pamlik Nayo, and in the last position Gustavo. The only thing that we can see now is that there are two groups of cars. The first group is the first three that I just mentioned, and the second is the last four. So Salomon Puma is leading the first group with a big advantage i think when they cross the the finish line when they finish this third uh, lap we will see how far thomas abarquero is actually leading the second group is behind of the first position uh which is Salomon puma and at the moment it seems that they are actually playing safe because so far no one has managed to actually get out of the race so here they cross the lap the the finish line on the third lap we have some woman first doing the fastest lap so far Tomasa Barqueiro is almost nine seconds behind Salomon Puma so it seems that they are very very far behind uh, quite impossible I think for those drivers to actually catch up with the tree in front of them so as I was saying this is the first race that we haven't had any big event like a crash or someone just giving up everything's been very clean and i can see that they are driving very safely this is the fourth and last lap so i think they are just saving their cars it seems that uh, daisy o'brien is trying a little bit of an approach to piotr frolov but uh, nothing nothing materialized over there gustavo is also trying a little bit but they are playing very, very safe now. I can definitely say Tomas Abarquer is finishing his last turn, going over a little bit of the, the crosswalk in there. So we have finished here Samuel Pumin first, followed by Piotr Frolov, then Daisy O'Brien with a very s small time distance. And Tomas Abarquero actually they lost almost half a second in the distance, and Gustavo Lencar nearly. 13 seconds behind, which brings us to the conclusion of this race. For this moment, let's see how many points each have accumulated. Now we have Salomon Puma taking, Salomon Puma taking 14 points, Piotr Frolov 11, Daisy O'Brien 9, Tomasa Barquero 8, Leroy Balcaran 6, Ayo Tunde Pamela Conejo 4, and Gustavo Lencar 2 points. And their position now we see that Salomon Puma jumped to the first position as I have uh, anticipated at the beginning if he finished he would take the, the position from Chao Li. Piotr Frolov jumped to the third position, Daisy O'Brien is now at the fourth position, Kian Fang has not raced so he's gonna race afterwards, Teru Yamuneyak is tied with him, Leroy Balkaran jumped to the seventh position well, he's kind of the same now. Tomasa Barquero is in the 11th position with Gustavo Lencar, and Gustavo Lencar even tried to tease uh, Ayutun, and I think that this teasing made Ayo pass him with all of with everything that he had because all of this that talk about five points in advance didn't solidify it here. Yeah. It, it was great. And where is Augusto Alencar? He took only two points and now he is in the seventh position. Oh, sorry. Eleventh position. What the... On that note, uh, I think that's all we have for this transmission at the moment. And our next race is going to happen at 4 p.m. So we're going to make a break. Maybe try to visit uh, Ari in his garage because he is busy and I'm happy that we didn't give him any more car to work on. Okay, so I'll see you in the next transmission at 4 p.m. Bye.